If I could give 18-year-old Greg advice, what would I say? Well, first of all, Paul, the thing I would say is, stop drinking now. You'll save yourself another 10 years of untold worry and trouble. That's what I would do. Um, yeah, because I think I stopped drinking when I was 29. Are you serious? I did, yes. Uh, Par- all partying ended. 29 years old. All of it ended. Um, yeah, so that would be the first thing. Hey, young Drayd, stop being a pirate. Uh, and that would have solved a whole lot of issues, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, you know, I, you always look at back what you did and, you know, things had to happen in order for you to get where you're at currently, right? Uh, but I think that thing is probably what I, what I would have told myself. Because um, I'll tell you what, a lot of wasted time. A lot of wasted time. And I was fortunate I never got, you know, in a lot of trouble because I easily could have. But, yeah, that's what I would say. Hey, young fella. Um, Yeah, and the other thing, too, is that I think that because of that, I was, I felt that part of my aspirations uh, as a musician was also to be an equally uh, astute debaucherist, Paul. So in addition to being a musician trying to be uh, the highest uh, caliber I could be, I also had to be, uh, because all the guys I read about, you know, they they knew how to party, and I thought, by God, I was going to need to be an expert, and I excelled. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, but that is not true. You do not, they are not, uh, they don't go hand in hand. You can be a thoroughly creative and productive person without uh, giving in to, um, you know, the uh, the crutches, as they say. You don't need the crutches, Paul! Paul! Sorry, that sounded... I got a little hot there. Did you hear that? Woo! Woo! So that's what I would say. As much as that, you know, you know, different advice we given, but I think all the other advice would have been predicated on that. You dig what I'm saying? Okay, we're done.